Time to get the weekend started with Friday Night Baseball from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Cards are looking to make history here today. Can they break the all-time winning streak record? We'll see right after this. Mackenzie Gore is on the mound for the Cardinals. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, talk about Leading a guy that's hard to Cubs. score off of. Last the three starts in ERA of under Four. one. So if you think you're going to score a lot of runs off this guy, you better get him early because once he settles in, he's awfully tough. And Matty V, this is one of the top pitchers in the sport right now. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Jake Marisnik is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off. Considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Hit sharply on the ground. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Well, I'm surprised by the pitcher right there going to the well for. Batting third. The third baseman. Chris. Here's Chris Bryant now as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little it's 0 and 1 and he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one and set up behind the plate Rusty Valentine as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey you know D well, Rusty Valentine he's known for having a high and a low strike zone but he's pretty good east and west you better keep it on the corners yeah I'm OK with Rusty's zone without question you know he's going to elevate it's north south so you're aware of it as a veteran player you can live with that as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe he's set here's the 0 1 fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Davis able to track it down for the third out. One left for the Cubs. It's the Cubs nothing. Cards coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Adbert Alzale, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, Here you go. which tells Four, me six, he blue. throws strikes. He's not afraid no to fielder. get the ball in the strike zone. Blue. It'll be interesting to see oh. if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. And there's one gone to start the night. Batting second. The center fielder, number 44. Stepping in next, Eric Davis. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so Batting much curve. velocity in the game. The that catcher. was a 96 Not mile yet. an hour fastball that he oh, smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to. Honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. 
Standing in now, Yadier Molina. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Davis, base runner at first with one out. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now to the plate, here is batting Albert court. Pujols. And he enters play team. today, currently Albert. fifth in the National League batting Pujols. race. Swinging a hard liner to center field. Marisnik finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Redbirds are turned away in the. First pitch of the AB on its way. Wilson Contreras is in to start Wilson. things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Oh, I love this, boys. Mano y mano. He's coming to get him with back to back big time heaters. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now here it comes. Pretty textbook the breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In there at the knees 0 and 2 now. Hit to first. Hernandez grabs it cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball oh, against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. The 1-1 one, one home. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Cubs are down in order. Here's Nolan Arenado. He enters play at number six in National Four League batting average. The There's a lot hit. of ways to get Nolan. on base. Base hit, a walk, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. And a good throw gets him one gone. Batting six. Not Next it'll be Ozzie Smith Ozzie. as he enters this one with an absurdly yeah. high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. Boy after that base knock right there D. Rowe, he extends seven. his hitting streak right to field. seven games. Yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary no, adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough staying inside the ball not trying to do too much. Next to hit Dylan Carlson first shot for him here as he enters play currently leading the senior circuit in batting. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the arc. The second for one. So now batting into the box is the Keith Hernandez. He carries the eighth best batting Hard average head. in the National League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the and we'll just leave it there as they make the play. To First pitch of the A.B. now. Off the the right Ian Happ is at the plate as he looks Ian at ball one. Hap. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Fastball called strike one and two. Oh. 
fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. He's not going to feel good about that at bat nor should he. You have to want to that swing the bat but he just stood the there and looked at four Adverse. straight pitches. Hopefully we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. In now Adbert Alzale. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Third inning no score to this point. In there and he's ahead 0 2 now. Hey make no mistake about it this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here six already and that's out number two. Two up two now down on strikes in this inning. Patient. He looks really Nico sharp out there guys. Corner. In now is Nico Horner. As he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Popped him up. Hernandez moving to his left and the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. We'll move on to the bottom of any. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher Mackenzie go. Gore as Willis. we move on to the bottom the of inning number three McKenzie. late on that one as it's fouled off to the Gore. left side. The wind up and the 0 1 good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. Well that's just a nice executed pitch right there to have the confidence to go in pound it inside if he's got that this team's in trouble. Around first he's digging for second and now this will get over the wall down the now line out there for a ground rule double. Hey Ooh. this is what every hitting coach teaches Rock. when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you hold on now that ball is down and could score a run. And they'll get it in quickly it's first and third now with nobody out. Man this guy's really now starting that. to swing the stick Double again D roll that extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah he's leaking in the three series right here now nine games that's getting firm he's seeing the ball well and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Back to first and he throws it away and now this ball's going to wind up out of play and that will compound matters four. even further. First pitch coming here it is rolled slowly down the third baseline. Bryant's got to get rid of it and the off balance throw will be too late so a good effort that time but it's an infield single. The batter number five second baseman Al Burke. Into the Ooh, box hold. Albert Pujols. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn however and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Now batting. So a runner in scoring position with two Nolan. men gone and that'll bring Arenado. in Nolan Arenado. He's set. Here it comes. Strike taken the throw and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's not an easy thing to do steal third base especially off a catcher like this that has a good throwing arm. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Well this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team you can't expect to fall way behind. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield a base hit and that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three nothing cushion. The batter number one and time will be called Shortstop. here as the pitching coach heads okay. out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy yeah. down a bit. So now to the plate Ozzy Smith as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike one for one with a single so far. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is line to left and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. All set for the start of the inning and up next the center fielder Jake Marisnik. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. 
It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. He hey. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch-outs now Good here stuff. in the middle innings. Up he's there. up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Javier Baez is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Flew out in his only at-bat so far. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Out in front of it, strike one. Hit on the ground toward the left. Baez has it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Couldn't have been much closer at first. And his show track will demonstrate for us. It took a throw of over 90 miles an hour just to beat the hustling runner. Really an amazing show of arm strength on that play. And that brings up the former MVP, Keith Hernandez. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Now that the pitcher, McKenzie. At the plate, Goal. McKenzie Gore. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Swing and a line drive. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. The relay, and he is out. Time for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI here. The left fielder, number 20. Stepping in now, Lou Brock. Brock. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This is line to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. To the plate now, Eric Davis. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. 
In now, Yadier Molina. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Marisnik has to retreat to the track, but he has it. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat, it's strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So no one out and nobody no aboard. Point. And that brings in Anthony, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Now the fastball is swung oh, on and one. missed. One out, nobody on. It's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Carlson is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting John Peterson. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Cubs are down in order. They trail here four to nothing. Cardinals number four hitter Albert Pujols. He's 0 for 2 thus the far in this one. Albert. Ready with the first pitch. Pujols. Here it comes. And he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at 93 that time. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. Hit on the ground is short. There's Baez, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado, a hit in two tries so far. Arenado. First pitch on its way. Swung on and chopped up the middle. On to first and very quickly two are gone in the home fifth. Now well it certainly it. was a bang bang play so they're okay. giving it another look and may decide to challenge yeah. the call on the field. Well here's another look at it. It certainly was bang bang. Wow tough for me to tell on that look. Definitely a tough call for the umpire there. Blake now, Ozzie Smith, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Five innings complete. St. Louis is out in front, four to nothing. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. Yeah I think if I'm the hitting coach right here Matty I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. Soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Got him swinging on the fastball now there. Batman. Patrick Wisdom the goes base. down to become the first Nico. out in the sixth inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nico Horner is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. 
is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more now before he's done. Still a lot of game left yeah. in this one. Smith is there. Throw in the he's dirt, up. but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ladies Jake Arrieta enters to do the pitching three. in the bottom of the now sixth. For Chicago. Bottom Number of the sixth nine. inning now, and coming Jake. forward is the switch Arrieta. hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Into center field, line drive, base hit. So the innings underway with the Cardinals getting their leadoff hitter on base. Now that next First up baseball. is Keith Hernandez. Keith. He's coming off a oh, month in which down. he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. He's set and the pitch. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. And now, Larry Walker will be summoned off to the Cardinals. Number 32, Larry Walker. From the stretch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Carlson stands at first with one out. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now the 2 0. Swing and a liner. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he is in there. The left fielder, number 20, Lou. Brock. Into the box, Lou Brock. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Next up, Eric Davis. He's two for three Double and looking for four. more here. First offering on its way. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Now batting. Well, talk Catcher. about having a pretty special yeah, yeah. game. That's his third oh, single of the game, d -Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. It's the best. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Cards forced to settle for one. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Pop straight up. Walker is there for it. One down. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. 
And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first now, career Matt, major Matt, league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Wilson Contreras is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. Still one and two. Pitch on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Carlson gets there for the catch, and that ends Ladies the inning. Please join us for the tradition. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Cardinals five and the Cubs one. Ready now is Albert Pujols. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending Lewis. that nice hitting streak that he's put baseman. together. Yeah, I know, Matty. It's been a really nice run for him, and hey, it's not over yet. You know he's as motivated as anybody to make something happen right here. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And the screen shows the story right there. As that hitting streak will live to see another day. Just classic confidence in the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night. You know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark. You expect to catch a couple please. barrels. Dan now, Winkler comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody number out in three. inning number seven. Dan Winkler. Standing in now, Nolan Arenado. Grounded back up the middle. Baez fields it cleanly, and that's out number one. Next, now it'll be Ozzie Smith. He's working on a one Ozzie. for three thus far. Smith. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He swings and grounds it to short. And that's the second out. And now in the box, Dylan Carlson. Lifetime versus this arm. He's been great, seven for 10. He's ready, here's the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peterson will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down go the Redbirds on a mere four pitches. They're up five to one. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jock Peterson. And the pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the run is Brock. He can't get there as it falls in. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for.
So now to the plate, Ian Happ, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. Just okay, behind the down. fastball there, two strikes now. Fouled away. Peterson stands at second with no outs. Here's a pop up now. Walker will take it himself for the first out of the inning. Matt Ladies Duffy will grab a bat and hit for the please. pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the will chase one up around the Duffy letters off. here for strike one. Matt. Duffy, often Duffy. known as the Duff Man in baseball circles, this is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Pujols backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So in now for Chicago. Nico Horner Nico. could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hernandez has got it and the side is retired. Brad Wick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Stepping up is Keith Hernandez. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, back. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Stepping in will be. Larry Walker. Larry Walker. First pitch of the AB on its way. Lined hard and deep down the left field line. But this is foul for the first strike. Hit hard down the line. Throw gets him two down. And now back the to the leadoff field. spot from the St. Louis lineup. Move. Stepping in, Lou Brock. Two Brock. hits in four attempts to this point. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't no beat him. Well, Number obviously, 44. he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. At the plate, Eric Davis. He grounds it sharply to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Cards leave one. Here's Jake Marisnik. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Yeah, and it's usually demoralizing, Maddie, when the top of the order, so called best hitters, are shut down. But you know what? We can't expect them to carry us every single day. Somebody in the southern part of this order has got to step up and get this offense rolling. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hard liner to center field. Solid base hit for him. His first of the afternoon. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly. Now that. Bruce Suter takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Here's Javier Baez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Yeah, Javier Baez retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. No balls in one strike. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. 
Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Tonight's game comes to an end, five to one. The final score: the St. Louis Cardinals.